Hello, how is everybody today? This is a garage estate sale video. It is, what day is it? April Fool's Day, Friday. I'm going to show you some stuff. I'm going to go out tomorrow and possibly Sunday. So there'll be more. This is just the first part. My wife picked this up. Isn't it cute? It is a Boyd's Bear. I think that has a logo right there. Yep. So that's cool. I think we paid a couple bucks for it. And it's easily $20. And then, um, I want to get this out with it, but I got this voice synthesis module. And the reason I got this was because there was a box lot of just random electronics junk. And it had this in it. Donkey Kong. They did not have the Intellivision system, but they had that module thing and they had this game. But it has a game. It has the original manual. I'll get the game out. Dogs barking. So that's pretty darn cool. We got some random records. Um, I'm going to show you all of them up. Oh, there's one of the ones I wanted to show you. Of course, the classic Beatles. And it is in there. So that's pretty cool. Got this for a quarter. A quarter! Um, Saturday Night Fever. That might interest some people. Where's the one that I really... This is the best one. Just hilarious. Shift! So that's pretty darn cool. As always, there's random books. This is a pretty cool book. Let me actually list this first. Could be a book pretty darn old. Larry the Cucumber. You gotta know who that is. If you don't know who Larry the Cucumber is, come on. Little Casper, the friendly ghost comic. Um, Try this bear organized. Garfield for my collection. Because I want it. And then some Wayne the Pooh books. Is that the same thing? No, they're both a bit different. And last but not least, you guys can help me out. I think this is a gremlin. I think that's what it's called, but got it for a buck. It says 1993 Bandai on one of his feet. But that is it. It's a pretty large figure, too. Look, it's my head. That's it for today. Maybe I'll get some video of us out tomorrow. And we shall see you then. Just open the trunk. <laughs> Hey, don't you have a, another one of these? I think so. It looks familiar, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. You're not helping. I am helping. I'm holding. You're not helping? It is now Saturday. We got a lot more stuff. Went to a rummage sale first at church. Got there 10, 15 minutes early. And I kind of rushed through really quick. And I found these. I'll tell you this. I thought this was going to be the find of the year. And we're only three months in. And these used to go for a good amount of money. They are Hardy Boys with dust jackets. I was going to skip through, jump through the entire room so. But they still do well. They don't do as good as they used to. I used to have a set of these. Hey, buddy. Get down. They sell for like 50 bucks a piece. No joke. But they still do, still do pretty darn well. So that's good. Good find. 25 cents a piece. Um, probably what I'll do the best on. And I wouldn't have thought that. Of all the stuff I got, I would have thought the Hardy Boys is Clue. It's the original version and it's complete. Has all the weapons. You know Clue. 
if you're old enough, you know what Clue is. This, the problem with this is, the games aren't in it. When you go to sales, always look inside to make sure it's all there. It does have the book. So I'll still sell the book in the box. So, it is what it is. My wife actually found this, White Tiger Zord. Where's your head? Get out. Anyways, his head's not popping out. It's right there. Bought this for three dollars. It says five dollars on it. I still tag, and that's a little too expensive. It's pretty scratched. Some pieces missing. The compartment is missing. So that is that. Lord of the Ring books. Um, we'll save that for the end. If you're from the '80s, '90s, you remember these things. We went to a sale, they had a whole sticker box, like 40. And somebody got to me, somebody got to them before me. And then we looked them up later in the car. And my wife and I were like, what? If they are made by damn, I didn't swear, which this one is. Can you read it? D-A-M. And they're from the 60s. They go for like 500 bucks. These are much later. This one and this one are damn. I'll never say that in a video again. These are much later, like 80, so they'll still go for like 20 bucks. But we're kicking ourselves because we should have bought them all. They're 25 cents. And no joke, someone bought, it was at least 30. It was a ton of them. So we got a couple, but we missed out on most. And last but not least, we'll wrap up these. My wife saw this box. And in the box, voila, are about 20 Hot Wheels. The problem is, we thought they were much older. Some of them were older. Like this one's 76. So some of them will do good, but a lot of them, like this one, they say 69 on the bottom, but they're reprints because it says HotWheels.com on the hood, and there's no way it would have said that in 1969. You can kind of tell just how the bottom looks. But there are some older ones. That one's older. And that one. They're a lot heavier. So we didn't do too bad, but there's not any home runs in here so cool they're all in really really good shape and that is a weekend we did really good I need to get listing some of this stuff and hopefully yes we'll see you in a video next week I'll try to get some more out side or actually we're actually at the sales coverage for ya have a great day we'll see you soon adios